Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's August 27th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with David Young and Dan Bingham from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Thank you for being here, gentlemen. Um, relatively quiet week in the markets this week. A lot of chatter uh, ahead of the virtual Jackson Hole Conference and the comments from the Federal Reserve Chairman uh, Jerome Powell this morning, but not a lot of market activity. Uh, Dan, what's out to you? Yeah, the, you know, comments coming out of Powell, um, people were certainly waiting on, but uh, a lot of his comments have been very, very consistent with uh, in regards to staying the course. Um, you know, the expectation that we're meeting or getting close to meeting some of the criteria for tapering, he 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 mentioned, um, but it's still uh, still some some period before the tapering is going to begin. When tapering ends, is um, uh, it's speculated between the first and second quarter of 22. Um, and then at, at, at some point after that, uh, tightening would occur. Um, and with that, we've so seen uh, tremendous stability in the rates market. Uh, treasuries are, are mostly unchanged here um, with the 10 year at 131 and the 30 year at 193, largely unchanged after his comments. So um, if his desires are to keep a uh, good bid in the treasury market, he's certainly doing that. Um, if the, um, you know, moving over to the municipal market, we've seen extreme stability, even, even in a uh, pretty tight environment on the uh, treasury side, municipals have been very, very uh, stable in here. And really the same backdrop that we've seen with a manageable calendar and uh, continued inflows. Um, I will comment that the uh, secondary market uh, of municipals has been extremely quiet. And there's some data uh, coming out that shows uh, secondary activity, whether it's by volumes or whether it's by number of trades. Um, we're seeing numbers that uh, we haven't seen in 10 or 20 years on the low side. Uh, so just tremendous stability um, as market participants don't see a whole lot of need to do anything more than reinvest that cash that they're getting in in the new issue side of things. So very, very quiet secondary markets. And as we said multiple times, uh, looking forward to the fall when some of those cash flow trends, uh, particularly on the coupon reinvestment side, may uh, be a little bit different. So there might be more activity in the primary, uh, or at least more motion in the primary. Yeah. Um, Dave, let's uh, talk back to this past week. As Dan mentioned, it was a relatively uh, quiet calendar overall, although BAM had an active week. What, uh, what stood out to you? Yeah, so uh, thanks, Mike. Um, this week, uh, beauty supply came in about uh, nine and a half billion. Um, that was actually above expectations of about seven billion and above the 2021 weekly average. Um, as you mentioned, BAM had a great week. Um, we insured 20 series for a total par of 422 million. Uh, so that's kind of on the upper end of uh, um, kind of our weekly activity. Uh, BAM's activity was led by um, $115 million AA minus North Fort Bend Water in Texas. Um, that was a negotiated sale by Piper. Um, and that's a name that, uh, you know, we've seen historically, uh, you know, come to market without insurance, but, uh, you know, uh, a trend that we've been seeing the last really two years is uh, greater usage of insurance on higher rated names. So, um, all around uh, really good team effort uh, at BAM um, and, and kind of moving forward. Uh, there was a $44 million taxable um, Hull Township School District uh, in Illinois that was uh, led by Bernardi and a two, and there were two series um, of Governor's State University in Illinois totaling about $25 million in insured par led by Mesereau. Thanks. And looking at next week, the uh, the overall calendar is going to uh, fall, maybe it's by as much as 50%, but what's on the calendar for uh, the BAM insured sector? Yeah, so, uh, you know, like you said, volume is expected to drop off uh, significantly uh, as we approach Labor Day. Um, we're currently seeing uh, kind of an upcoming supply of about 5 billion and uh, approximately 70% of that is concentrated in um, a handful of uh, issuers like uh, you know, New York City TFA um, and state of Wisconsin um, with new issue par of $100 million and up. Uh, but despite the kind of anticipated slowdown in the overall market, uh, BAM expects about $100 million in insured par next week. Um, that's going to be primarily led by a $39 million Rock Creek School District in Kansas, uh, where Stiefel is the underwriter. 
and a $27 million West Memphis, Arkansas utility transaction uh, with Stevens. Thanks, and we'll uh, we'll take next week off ahead of the Labor Day weekend, but we'll be back in September to uh, recap that activity and what is uh, starting to shape up in the calendar for the uh, rest of the third quarter. Thanks for your time, gentlemen. Before we go, a quick uh, shout out and congratulations, Dan. Happy birthday. Uh, thank you for taking time out on uh, for your celebration to join us, and uh, we'll see you in September. Great. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 